Welcome to our video series on energy efficiency measures and technologies. In this fourth episode, we're turning our attention to the propulsion and hull category. This category includes all measures that enhance a vessel's hydrodynamic performance. Let's break down its key benefits and challenges. On the plus side, these measures use mostly mature, proven technologies. They can be easily and transparently accounted for in compliance frameworks. And the payback period is usually short. The challenges? Some technologies have high capex and improvements can be ship and route specific. We asked Uwe Hollingbach, our hydrodynamics expert, what are some of the most used hull and propulsion retrofit measures? Probably the most common options are propulsion improving devices like breeze ducts and propeller boss cup fins, with the next step up being valves bow and propeller retrofits. Low friction paint in combination with the hull cleaning and propeller polishing is another popular choice. Are some measures best implemented at the design stage? Yes, features like optimized hull form or optimized propeller and adding extra margins uh, for future upgrades can only be built uh, in from the start. Once the ship is built, uh, changing them is ex expensive. Anything else we should consider? Wind assisted propulsion system, which we also call WAPS, look especially promising because installations have shown savings up to or between 5 and 20 percent. And with larger sails, this could do boost even up to 60 percent or above. Wondering if your vessel could benefit from propulsion and hull upgrades? Download our Energy Efficiency Measures and Technologies report to explore these in more detail. Next up, we look at machinery. Stay tuned.